Let us venture back in time just slightly to 2014 at the Arnold's Classics. It was won by Dennis Wolf, and he was challenged by none other than Sean Roden. These two have done battle so many times that I'm sure the judges were just flipping a coin each and every time that they would compete. Because let's face it, guys, it is a personal preference when it comes to these two. It is either, either rock-hard, grainy conditioning and muscularity on the part of Dennis Wolf, size, things of that nature, and aesthetics, flow, and completeness as far as Sean Roden is concerned. But this is not a real front relaxed of Sean Roden. We will not be judging this one, although I must say Dennis Wolf will be in trouble as far as that missing calf is concerned. I'm a stickler when it comes to that. Some judges are not. But I do definitely take that into consideration. And in the front double bicep pose, it does definitely play a part, that torn calf or missing calf. But Dennis is in better condition when I look at the just the hard separation of the muscle. But Sean Roden has the aesthetics. He has the abs. Just fantastic when you think about that. But like I said, when you look at the muscle separation, look at the legs. There's just nowhere near as good conditioning for Sean Roden. But again, I look at that calf muscle. Let's have another shot here because I always bring you guys as many shots as I can. I actually got a comment on that the other day. And I appreciate that. You guys show that you guys appreciate the extra mile that I go for these videos. Sean Roden looks a little bit better in this one. When you look at the muscle separation and the legs, things of that nature, the things, the points that he was down on, he is getting a plus in this one. And let's have a third and final one. And this one, I think, favors Sean Roden. Maybe Dennis Wolf is not as hard and grainy as he was in the previous pitchers. Perhaps, but I think it's the overall biceps and the overall arm flow, the tricep-bicep combination. And of course, at the end of the day, when it is close between these two, you got to look at that calf, and it is very distracting. But I think more has to do with the abs and the, the biceps, and of course, the aesthetic flow. Front lat spread. Now, this one is favoring Dennis Wolf for sure, but as is the camera angles. And I think the cameramen were following him in these black and white shots. He's definitely winning this one. So let's have another one. This one is definitely more flattering for Sean Roden and less for Dennis Wolf. And this one, I think, is ripping Dennis Wolf off. So if you com combine the two, and I looked at the videos, and they, they were not worth showing here. They were not very good footage. But anyway, Dennis Wolf displays a much superior front lat spread it's just an awesome x frame and i think the missing calf it is almost enough to to ding him in this one but i don't think so i i think i would give him personally the front lat spread turn these guys to the side and advantage dennis wolf in my opinion that calf is out of the equation from the side it looks pretty good not bad at all and when you look at the arm separation just the muscle separation of course, Sean Roden looks good in the, the glutes. And I know I'll get some some glute hate mail in my comment section. What are you going to look at the glutes for? Well, it is the largest muscle in the body, and we are judging muscles. What do you think? Anyway, Dennis Wolf not blessed in the striation area in that, in that region. Let's have another one. Look at that hanging hamstring on Dennis Wolf. He really made that famous and this one here favors him when you look at the conditioning of the upper body of Sean Roden. So in my firm belief Dennis Wolf does pick up a point not only in the side chest but also here in the side tricep. Sean Roden always struggled in this pose in my opinion versus a more superior man. And Dennis Wolf I have to say, he is not the most genetically blessed either in the tricep. And that's what it is, guys. These guys are horses. I mean, they're training fanatics. They know how to train. They have the know-how. So it is a genetic thing. It is not their fault that they can't display a Phil Heath-type tricep. And guys like Dorian Yates really knew they were masters at displaying it. 
And as there is nothing wrong with either of these guys' display of the rest of their physiques, actually they look world class, it is the tricep alone that would fetch Sean Roden a loss in this one. And Dennis Wolf gets a slight edge. That conditioning, I think, most of all, when you look at the, the delts. Anyway, guys, it is time for the back developments. And usually it is make or break time, but in Sean Roden's case, with those losses to the side shots, and in the front lat, it is catch-up time for him. It is necessary that he probably wins both of these shots. He's winning in the glutes, of course. He's winning in the calves. But when you look at the, the deep conditioning of the back of Dennis Wolf. I don't know. It's a darn close one. Let's have another one, of course. And this one favors Dennis. Wolf, my, 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 my. That deep conditioning, like I said. Glutes are one thing, guys. But when Dennis Wolf, he is hard in the glutes. There's just no striations. It's a genetic thing. Lee Priest had it. Chris Cormier had it. The guys were in condition. And you know how I can tell. Look at the hamstrings. My soul, his hamstrings are... Twice as conditioned as Sean Roden's. So you can't really ding him for lack of conditioning. I just think the hardness of that back, the just the monstrosity, is that a word? Yes, it is. Monstrosity of Dennis Wolf would get him an edge in the rear lat spread. Rear double bicep. A good pose for both gentlemen. That is, if they're not standing, somebody that is superior in this pose. Actually, on the contrary, they're... Both of them suffer in the lower lat insertion area. And Sean Roden may even be a little bit better than Dennis Wolf in that area. But you look at the muscle separation. You look at the hardness, the crispness of Dennis Wolf. And it is a close one. Let's have another one here. And I like these ones better. You can see the, the clarity and the conditioning a little bit better. And when that happens, advantage Dennis Wolf. It looks just like granite versus a very hard mahogany wood and when you look at the delts look at dennis wolf's delts from behind holy cow i hope that's not a swear word holy cow i used to get smacked in the back of the head for saying that when i was a kid i don't know why anyway they, the cow is holy in a certain country and you're not allowed to eat it look at the hamstrings from the hamstrings to the back development dennis wolf better condition but for you glute lovers <laughs> I'm sure there's some glute lovers out there. There's glute haters. And whenever there's haters, there's lovers. Sean Roden is a superior man in that area. But nothing doing. Dennis Wolf gets both back shots. And as I look at the score sheets, no victory in the world in the Abenthai pose could get Sean Roden out of the deficit that he is in. Although he is far superior in a pose such as this. From the feathering in the quads just to the overall look and those abs. Sean Roden definitely is superior in this. And to be fair, I know that the anticipation is sapped a little bit out of it, but we're going to look at the rest of the poses anyway. And there is the most muscular, of course. Let us gaze upon this ab and thigh pose of Sean Roden and the lack of aesthetics in Dennis Wolf from that little calf to the messed up abs. And I know I, I get criticized for being nitpicky. Hey, this guy's displaying his body, saying I am the best built man in the world. So, yes, they do get criticized. And you people have to, not all you guys, but the, the people that criticize me for criticizing these world-class physiques. You guys have to realize that. These guys are models. So, Sean Roden cannot come out of the deficit. But here in the most muscular, he is getting a, an edge for sure. But this is not Dennis Wolf's favorite one, and it is a more flattering one for Sean Roden. When you do display the crab most musculars, Sean Roden, definitely a, a weaker pose for him. And that's why you generally do not see him hitting this pose. And he should stay away from it, for sure. Dennis Wolf, oh man, does he look good in this pose. He is the Wolf Man for a reason. So if you combine the two... I guess it is really a toss-up. And when you do matchups between these two, it is a toss-up. Whoever is in the better condition probably will win the match. And in my opinion, this time, Dennis Wolf, the judges did get it right. Sometimes I agree with the judges, sometimes I don't. 
more often than not, I do. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this comparison. Dennis Wolf is your winner, in my opinion. He had better condition. Hit thumbs up on this one. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Have a great day.